Hey y'all, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today we're going to be trying Fairhope 51 from Fairhope Brewing Company out of Fairhope, Alabama. Thanks for joining us. Fairhope. Well, hey there. Welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional, yet somewhat biased, or and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we're drinking and reviewing. We are back to do another show. We're excited. And please keep in mind, we do this for you guys. You know, we don't, we never drank beer before we started doing the show. So this show is all about you. So if you enjoy what we're doing, please like and share and cheers that notification bell it'd go a long way uh to help us with what we're doing here and keep us engaged so also check us out on social media links below in the description instagram facebook we're not on linkedin yet right guys no. uh twitter it up. and you can check us out on discord come say hey i've got andy in the attic i've got jay i am ben Gentlemen, what are we drinking today in our lovely hopped up beer review shirts that say three wrongs make a right on the back? Do it. We're going to Fairhope, Alabama. We're going to have Fairhope 51. It's a pale ale. I'm excited. I actually like this. Had You've had times. this one before. Yes, many <laughs> times. All right. Crack it. Mine is open and mine is spewing. You're spewing? Yeah. Did you spew Spewage. with the other? Spewage. Um, didn't you spew with Take the Causeway? I think we all did, actually. Yeah. We had, it was a little excitable beer. Yes. I mean, look at that, you know, very white, off-white head. And, man, that pale ale is really you know, golden. You know, it's... Well, they're good. So there yeah, go. exactly. So, <laughs> what is it about the uh, Fairhope beers that uh, give us lots of fun? So now we have plenty of time, Andy. The show's yours. Oh, <laughs> finally! I say you go. <laughs> You're fired. Anyway, uh, so it's a pale ale, Fairhope Fifty One. It's the name of it. It's uh, five points. 8% IBU, uh, 5.8% ABV, 38 IBUs. Uses Falconer's Flight hops and German hops. I've never heard of that. I think they, they kind of said it was some special US made hops, Falconer's Flight hops. Like they just made it up for this beer? Or? I have no idea. No, no, not this beer. I mean, it's, it's, it's existing hops. Um, but, okay, so we went over the history of Fairhope a little bit um, when we did their IPA, Take the Causeway, Take the Causeway IPA. Yeah. And so they were founded in 2012, Fairhope, Alabama. It's right there on the Mobile Bay, on the east coast of the Mobile Bay. And we posited something. What does the 51 that was wrapped around the Pelican's leg, that number 51? And it explained it on... Um, this one went on one of the site. Well, it explained the number 51. So, Jay, is this, since you're familiar with Fairhope, is this uh, like their flagship? So, or this is one something of, else? yeah, this is one of their year rounds. So, they're, they're between this, um, Fairhope 51, their Pale Ale, uh, Fairhope Take Causeway, their IPA, and the uh, Fairhope um, Amber, Therefore I Am, are their, their three mainstays. And then uh, their other is um, uh, uh, the Fairhope Judge Roy Bean. It's their coffee style. Yeah, that's coffee style. Yeah. So, so those are their four mainstays. They do a lot of variations based off of them. I mean, I've had ones where they've done a version of the Take the Causeway where they've added uh, uh, guava to that has just been outstanding. Mm -hmm. um, they do a lot of unique uh, one-offs too. Um, they have one called uh, Cinco Uno, which is a, it's a jalapeno. 51, yeah. It's their pale ale plus or five uh, one. Jalapeno. jalapeno. 
Uh, uh, so um, then I think we've got another one that should be upcoming uh, called Blue Steel, which is uh, I saw that one. one of their sours. It's uh, where they did a blueberry and lemon uh, smash together. So I know Ben is going to be really excited about that one. It's, it's actually one of my favorite sours. Uh, so I look forward to sharing that one with you guys. But 50, 51 has always been one of the go-tos, and I, I love it as well. So, How's your foam looking, Ben? Getting there. Drinkable. Drinkable. Yep. You can drink that. Drinkable. Drinkable for sure. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Sorry. Wow, did you drink before the cheers, mates? I did. I'm a rebel. Oh, my goodness. I'm a, I'm a mess. I'm like, that, that's, that's calls for termination. <sighs> Replace me. <laughs> so, so yeah, <clears throat> wow. I mean, they they like to over over carbonate. It seems like with um, the pressure that they put on their cans. I mean, this is one that we all it, it really hasn't traveled that far. Uh, we had this. I think we picked it up on our trip to Birmingham for um, the from from Hop City, the, the beer store there, if I recall. So the number 51 represents the 51st recipe entry into the head brewer's uh, beer notebook. So that's where that 51 came from. And so I, I'm wondering if uh, the pale ale, there's some significance to the pale ale because it's wrapped around that pelican's leg on a few of the can art, you know. So I need to ask my buddy, Matt, um, he, he's one of the investors in the, the company. And I think he, he probably knows the story behind most of it. I just, I never have taken that time to do it. So, so what uh, are the other 50? <laughs> you know, it's like, were, what, what got us there? Yeah. <laughs> those are all the variants beforehand or it must've been the Falconer's years? flight hop. <laughs> yeah. That's what turn the corner. Wow. So, Andy, have you had this one before? I haven't. I think you have, haven't you, Ben? I've had some of their stuff. Um, you know, we make a trip down to the Gulf, Gulf Shores yeah. area uh, every Christmas. Uh, and, you know, I know this last Christmas or two, I picked up some stuff from Fairhope. Um, but I don't think I got the pale ale. I know I got the amber. Yeah, I was gonna say um, you got I, the amber. I got the cheap sunglasses. Was the yeah, they're cold. One that I got. Yeah, that's one of um, their standards too. I forgot to mention that one. Yeah. So, but I don't think I got this one. So I don't. I don't think that I've had it. I, I didn't look, uh, but I don't think I've had it. So. Yeah, I well. mean, I've always enjoyed their logo, and you know. Um, Ben, you've always been big into beer taps and looking at your pub shed and things like that. They, their beer taps are really cool with the stork as well. So, the, the, yeah, pel the pelican. Oh, I was like, say, wow, I've been wrong this whole time. <laughs> no, the pelicans. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember seeing any of their beer taps, honestly. Uh, now that you say that, because I think I would remember that for sure. Yeah. Um, so, cool. I'll have to check that out. That's right. I'll go. All right, go for it. It's a, it's a good pail. I can see why you like it, Jay. Um, it tastes like a pale ale, but there's something more to it that I'm like I'm trying to to place what what gives it that um, that good flavor um, and uh, a little more. It 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 got a little more bitter than your your just regular run of the mill. Uh, pale ale so uh, it's getting close to that almost that ipa level but it's still <laughs> no, you know really like you know <laughs> yeah um uh, i you know i'd definitely drink it again i'm gonna give it a seven and a half it's 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 a good one yeah um i'll, I'll jump in there and go uh andy you're absolutely right there there is a flavor there that's not expected um definitely for a pale ale it's, I can't put my finger on what it is either, mm -hmm. you know, and I was sitting here thinking, what, you know, what could that be? It's not anything I've really tasted before. It's kind of sweet. Recall. It is. Um, 
it's just a flavor I can't explain. I mean, if mm. I sat here and thought about it long enough, maybe I could. But you know, I mean, we only got so much time on this show before uh, before they kick us out, and you know, the, the next show comes in. So before the free uh, Zoom ends. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, Zoom. If you're watching, hey, you know, <laughs> kick, kick a freebie our way. Keep it free. Um, <laughs> that being said, um, I like it. I think that 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 extra flavor adds a uniqueness to it that I enjoy. Um, so, is it my favorite of the Fairhope beers? No, probably not. Um, but it it's it's good. It's different. I like it. Um, I'm gonna go with a seven on this one. Well, yeah, so uh, this is one that I, I go to from time to time if I see it on draft, like I'm, when I'm down at the, the Gulf Coast. Um, I'm always going to order this. I um, always want to support my buddies. Um, like I said, I, I know some of the owners, um, and I think we talked about them in the past. They're, they're great guys and uh, really have a, a cool brewery there. So highly encourage anybody to go visit them. Uh, it's, it's a neat place. Um, they've always been very good to me. Um, I would, I, I've got to rate this an eight. I mean, it's, it's a great pale ale in my opinion. And I, I don't know if it's some of those, like you're talking about Andy, maybe the experimental hops or something along those lines that we haven't heard about as much that go into it. It gives it that unique flavor, but I, I really enjoy it and always have. And, I don't know. I've probably probably been drinking this since they opened because uh, it was it was one of their first few beers, and they really haven't changed it. So it's been pretty constant and uh, a steady one that you can always rely on. Occasionally, you get the ones that they foam up a little bit, but once the foam goes down, it's it's a great beer. So, cheers. Well, what do you know that will give us a seven and a half? If you want, Andy, stop laughing at me. Hey, I try to come up with like different things to say because it gets a little repetitive, right? I mean, we've only done like 80 of these. <laughs> what do you know? Who to thunk? I never said what do you half. know? <laughs> Seven and a half. For the Fairhope Pale Ale 51, uh, a very carbonated beer, as we saw, um, but a very drinkable pale ale. Definitely one you should go out and grab. Uh, these guys do a really good job with this one and some of the other beer that we've had. So be sure to check it out. But also before you do that, before you run out and grab a 51, be sure to like subscribe and cheers that notification bell. I know you want to get notified of when we do more videos because we're doing them all the time and I know you want to watch them. So uh, be sure to do that. Check us out on social media. Uh, and come say hey on Discord. We'd love to see you there. That'd be fun times for everybody. For Andy in the Attic and Jay, I'm Ben. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.